Hey guys, that's Iskaboy2002 here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. We did it guys, we hit 200 subscribers. Well, now we're like at 211. It's crazy because three months ago, we hit 100 subscribers, which I never even thought I was gonna do because I didn't even think I was that good of a content creator. But then three months later, we got to 211, so this is practically my 200 subscriber special, so I don't have any uh, party horns or anything, but... <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll never do that again. I now have a community tab, so if you guys want to keep up to date with my life, see what's going on with my videos, when I'm going to upload, or better yet, have a voice in the content that I create through my polls. I now have the community tab available, and I'm so excited that that's finally a thing for me. Now, I've been kind of confused on what kind of videos I should make for my 200 subscriber special. I've been contemplating tons of things. A lot of the ideas I had were just over the top and just too ridiculous for even a 200 subscriber special video. So, I was at a dead end, couldn't think of anything, like, simple. Because I'm not a very simple person, I like doing big things for small reasons, which, um, I, I get that from my dad. But then I got the comment on my last video from a, I believe, a subscriber, who asked me my thoughts on extreme horror slash shockumentary. Now, I thought that would make a pretty good video. I just thought... I haven't really gone into a list of horror movies that I've seen, but I don't own on DVD because I own, like, 38 movies, which, by the way, I have seen... I finally seen Scream, the new one, and I have a bit of a rant about that, but I'm gonna save that for another video. But my point is, I haven't, like, gotten into the detail over the horror movies, like, every single one of them that I've seen, which I'd like to eventually do. I like to talk about horror movies more, because people like horror movies. I actually ha don't think I've seen a shockumentary, though, to answer that part of the question. Closest thing I've seen to a shockumentary is Don't F*** With Cats, which I will mention in this as something shocking, so I'll consider it a shockumentary, but it's not really that because it's... Don't F*** With Cats is not a, like, a Mondo film, it's just a regular documentary, but it made me quit watching it. It was really dark and disturbing. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. <laughs> So number one on my list is a documentary, which I'm not even going to really go into big detail about it because this one really upset me. It's called Don't Fuck With Cats. It's on Netflix and it's been a while since I've seen it and I'm trying to keep that in like a vault, but I'll tell you what I briefly remember it, remember of it. Um, started with the mysterious video of a guy killing a cat. I, I, I can't remember which way he did it. I just remember one of the ways he murdered a cat was he put it in a vacuum bag and sucked all the air out of it and it didn't show the end result it only showed like a part of the video they saw and luckily they just let that crap up to viewers imaginations and it it, it led in from him abusing mistreating animals to him actually committing murder which luckily i quit watching because that documentary really disturbed and upset me next on my list here is cannibal holocaust i have uh <laughs> Yeah, believe it or not, I've seen it, and I'm pretty sure everyone on the internet and their mama knows about Cannibal Holocaust. Now, the Cannibal Holocaust, it, I guess you could compare it to sort of a snuff film. How I watched it, um, I was in 7th grade, I believe I was like 13. Me and my best friend at the time were uh, watching scary movies while his uh, mom was at work, and he showed me that he was borrowing a DVD that he had from another friend, and it was... Cannibal Holocaust, which I don't even know how he got the DVD because it didn't look like it was distributed by, like, Target or anything. Like, it was just a plain black DVD disc, and it looked like, from what I saw, when he opened it, it looked like it was a burner disc or whatever they call it, and they downloaded the movie onto that disc. Now, keep in mind, Cannibal Holocaust is banned in a lot of places because of the content that's in it. We watched a little bit of it, and the part we quit watching it at was when they were de a turtle on the beach. We agreed not to watch this film ever again because that scared the shit out of us and years down the road I'm watching a video talking about the cannibal holocaust because I thought <laughs> me and my best friend were watching it but they had a little fun fact that freaked me the hell out even more. The turtle that they were killing in the movie was a real turtle and they were really killing it. They were really it and that just gives me a whole nother reason not to watch that movie again. Now the next movie on my list, yes it talks about cannibalism. This is a movie that was directed by Eli Roth, one of my favorite horror movie directors of all time. He directed Hostel, uh, he directed Cabin Fever, and a couple of other films. He's very underrated and I think he deserves more praise. He also did Knock Knock which starred Keanu Reeves. The Green Inferno is about a bunch of college students. They're trying to save an Amazonian tribe. They get captured by this tribe after they are about to leave and their plane crashes. They get brutally killed and eaten alive, one by one. It, it was just a movie that I 
couldn't watch anymore. It was just very, it was very graphic and it was, I don't have a lot of things I just don't watch because they're just too disturbing. I, I don't, my list is not even that long, so this, this isn't going to be a very long video, but, uh, that's just a movie that I couldn't sit through. That was extreme. Next film, keep in mind, I've not seen this, but I've seen clips. I've seen people reviewing it, talking about it. Luckily, I haven't seen the full thing, but I practically know the gist of it. It's called A Serbian Film, and this film, I can't really go into detail about the plot because I don't want to. It goes into very big detail with pedophilia and necrophilia. It's just, I wouldn't recommend even wanting to watch it. Number five on my list here is Human Centipede series. Don't even get me started on that. We all know the Human Centipede series. They're, all three of them are both as equally as disturbing as the last. They're just, there's three of them. I think they reuse all the same actors and just make different storylines out of them. Like the first Human Centipede is its own story, but the second hum Human Centipede um, is about a guy who watches the Human Centipede and wants to recreate it. Third one is about them being in a prison and they want to do the same thing that they saw in the first two Human Centipede movies. It's just confusing, but very disturbing. Now, last on my list, it's a it's a British horror film called uh, Inbred. It's a splatter film, and if you guys don't know what a splatter film is, it's a horror movie that really relies on uh, visuals and buckets of gore. Now, a little note: all these uh, like Serbian film and this film, I personally believe, was made for just pure shock value. Uh, I'm only going to talk about one scene that made me quit watching it. Uh, you saw a lot of people getting, but there's this one scene that got um, one guy tied up. He was wearing a wig. And these, and the, and the weirdos were force feeding him through a tube feces and that the visuals of the visual effects for that scene were really bad, but it was just a bad movie overall, but it still made me feel lightheaded. In fact, it makes me lightheaded just talking about it. Yeah, I know that wasn't much of a exciting, uh, 200 subscriber special, but at least I answered someone's, uh, question. Now that my thoughts on extreme horror, uh, I don't really, I mean, I like horror movies that have good buckets of gore in it, but I don't like it when it's like excessive where it's over the top, overly exaggerated, especially when it comes to it just being for pure shock value. I just think that's not art, that's trash. Now, there are some things on my list that I would consider that are art, but I just found too disturbing to sit through and watch the whole thing. That's pretty much it. See you guys.